You're not gonna like it so hard. You're not gonna be able to keep up. These are the three things that I heard before I actually joined medical school. Now I had this picture that I will be treating patients. I will be studying a lot, but actually medical school is a lot different when you are in it. People used to warn me, you have to keep up. You have to keep pace. You'll spend most of your time studying. You won't have a life. And I kept telling them over and over again, this is what I love. This is what I chose. And to be honest, after eight months of medical school, I can say that I love it. It's incredibly difficult. But I love it. And I'm not making this video to tell people, oh, I told you so. Quite simply, I'm trying to better paint the picture for people trying to enter medical school or people who are generally curious of how medical school is. Having said that, let's play a game. I will pick a topic and compare my expectations and realities before I applied to medical school and entered and after as a medical student. First off, the amount of material. I expected before medical school, you, people used to tell me, like I said, you'll be studying a lot. I didn't really know what that meant six, seven, eight hours, nine, ten. And after joining medical school, I can say that I study seven hours a day, six days a week, and a few hours on a Saturday. If you have done A-levels IB before, it's kind of similar to that load at the end of the year, but all year long. And of course, the amount that you study changes throughout the year. Next point, medical school is always stressful. I expected no work-life balance whatsoever. I expected to have no connection with friends or family or no, no hobbies, no football, no nothing. And no, it's not a complete isolation from reality. You still have your own life. You still have your friends. You still have your family. You still I play football, for example, on weekends all the time. I'll say it this way. You don't lose your identity when you enter medical school. You still have your friends. You still have your life outside medical school. The third thing is memorization. And for memorization, I had this expectation that I have to consistently memorize to succeed. And this is partially true, don't get me wrong. In some subjects like anatomy, you still have to memorize a lot of information and it's solely a memorization kind of studying. You still have a lot more to becoming a great doctor than memorizing things. A lot of medical school is actually, in my opinion, communication. The way you speak to the patient, the way you interact with the patient, the way you build rapport, that is much more important than memorization. Because even if you know all the diseases in the world, even if you know all the intricacies, all the management, all the drugs, then if you can ask the right questions and extract that information from the patient, then how are you going to treat them? Sometimes patients can be stressed or anxious. They don't want to tell you about their disease because they don't want you to now diagnose them with something. And the way to a great doctor is how they talk to the patient through both their body language and their words, not through the memorization of the Krebs cycle. And how are the medical students, the people in the course? I expected most of them to be really, really competitive and in a way arrogant and they don't talk to you and yeah, yeah, that's completely wrong. That's really an inaccurate way of looking at medical school. Although many people are competitive, even myself, medical school is built under the frameworks of teamwork. Now that sounds cliche, but it's true. Medical school is built under teamwork. It's completely under teamwork. If you don't have teamwork in medical school and medicine doesn't work as a whole. Now onto content. So I expected most of the things to be around human diseases and management and that sort of thing. But actually, although it forms the bulk of what we study, but you also study preventative medicine. You also study ethics. You also study how to speak to the patient in terms of management, identifying risk factors, helping them improve the lifestyle, like diet, like all these different things that I didn't really know about before I entered medical school. And finally, medicine is a culture. Now, I had this expectation that medical school, everyone had their own techniques, everyone had their own thing, you know? I do this, he does that. It's your own style, essentially. Now, that's kind of true, but it's not completely right. You learn techniques that other doctors have been doing for years. And that's why when a doctor sees another doctor doing something the same way that they do it, they'll be like, oh, look, he's one of us. And they'll be happy. Uh, so my point is, medicine is a culture. It's not a bad culture, it's a good culture because you learn from higher, more experienced uh, professionals teaching you the same thing that you will teach to your younger doctors and the cycle goes on. And there you go. So this is not a scientific fact. This is my opinion. Now I know I'm still eight months into medical school and, and I know my vision will completely shift on how I look at medical school in the coming years, but I still like it. I still love it. Paint your own picture. Don't let people paint it for you. Thank you so much for watching the video and salam alaikum.